Local first tonight, police want to know who shot a teenage boy, leaving him for dead on the grounds of a West Philadelphia school. Fox 29's Lynn Turner is live where it happened. Lynn, you're talking about yet another crime involving a teenager here. That's right, Joyce. We are outside the MYA School for Humanities down this alleyway and just underneath that back stairwell. That's where police found that teenager's body earlier today. Tonight, the search for suspects goes on and so does the search for answers. The big question, why are so many local teenagers getting caught up in this wave of violent crime? It's just the latest in a string of vicious violence involving young suspects or young victims. The bullet riddled body found near this school, a sign of adolescent crime out of control. We're here this afternoon to say that enough is enough. All weekend long, rallies like this, demanding an end to the bullets and the bloodshed. We got to find out what is going on with young people. Young people with weapons committing crimes like the high profile shooting of a tasty cake delivery driver, the gunman just 15 and crimes like the murder of 30-year-old Tamika Giles, a Wilmington woman shot to death by robbers also just 14 or 15 years old. Even Philadelphia's top cop calls it an epidemic. And these children are losing a whole lot of hope, uh, especially in, in some of the minority communities. When you have 12, 13, 14, 15 year olds being killed and being the perpetrators of these killings, it, it's very concerning. And while that concern grows, a group of researchers, students and alumni at the University of Pennsylvania say they will soon be seeking more scientific answers. There are some pressing problems plaguing young men, specifically um, uh, minorities, African-American men. Darren Tolliver is part of the group Black Men at Penn. They're trying to raise $10 million to study the effects of racism and, among other things, its impact on kids and crime. If these things aren't um, studied and researched and addressed, then we don't know how to, you know, to effectively um, make change. Real research could be years away. Something is wrong. <laughs> Something is wrong. Those taking to the streets say they and their children can hardly afford to wait. The only way evil can live if good decide to do nothing. Our Philadelphia's police commissioner Sylvester Johnson says he personally visits at least three schools every week to remind kids that crime just doesn't pay. The hope tonight is that more kids will get that message. We're live in West Philadelphia, Len Turner, Fox 29 News. Thank you, Len.